Hello and in this video we're going to have a look at a problem that you may encounter when opening up SQL Server Management Studio. The Visual Studio component catches out of date, please restart Visual Studio. Well there are a few ways to get so there are a few ways to get around this and first of all we need to exit all programs. Now, firstly, opening up SSMS might just solve it. It might just cure it. So let's see if it does in my particular instance. So I'll connect, new query, and I no longer have the problem. So it might be as simple as that. Alternatively, you might want to have a look at your temp directory. So the quickest way to do that is to go to the type here to search and put in star so uh, percentage temp percentage and you'll see that there is a file folder and I click on that and it takes me to my temporary folder so you can see where it is on my computer. It is in my C drive, users, my name, app data, local, and temp. Now, temp files are by their very nature temporary. You don't actually need them. And there might be something here that's blocking it up. So if there is, just delete, not the temp folder, but the contents of the temp. And if anything doesn't get deleted, that's fine, just leave it as is. It may be that something is just having a problem with a particular folder, maybe something still needs permission. So I'm going to say, if it says you need to provide administrative position to, permission to delete this folder, I'm just gonna say skip. So it, and maybe it'll revisit it if that problem still remains. So I think I'm going to have that for about four folders. And part of this is because I'm recording a video. So that has recycled and that might solve the issue. So again, I'm just going to say skip to all items that it can't delete. Now, if this doesn't solve the problem, if you go back into SQL Server Management Studio and it still says reboot or restart Visual Studio, then have a look at your disk cleanup utility. So again, I'm going to expand this and type in disk cleanup. And there we have the app. So what drive do you want to clean up? Well, I want to clean up the C drive. And it says, do you want to get rid of temporary files, temporary internet files, temporary files? And this might be another way of doing exactly the same thing. So I'm just going to say temporary files for this particular solution. So here we go, click OK. And I want to de permanently delete these files and it cleans it up. And again, this might be a solution for the problem. So now hopefully if you restart SSMS, so SQL Server Management Studio, and log in and maybe click on new query just to make sure that it works. Then hopefully you won't see that error. Well, I hope this has been interesting and useful for you. If you like this video, please click on the like and why not subscribe and tick the bell next to it. Thank you very much. I'm Philip Burton and I'll see you on the next video.